I got connected with Rostrum. I guess it would probably come back to the fact that Mac Miller and his whole crew wore my hoodie on his TV show every episode. And so Mod Son was in everyone's face. I don't know if you ever saw Mac Miller's show. It's a really cool show. I like Mac Miller, man. He's cool. Mac Miller's a cool guy. Um, his whole team is cool, too. His best friend, Jimmy, is one of the most poetic people I've ever met in my life. So shout out, Jimmy. I guess it was probably through that that they saw my name a bunch. And uh, and my lawyer is one of the coolest guys in the world, and he was like friends with Benji or something. And how it happened, though, is I moved out to California, and Rosterman had just relocated to California. And so they came out, or they were in California, and they were like, oh, um, talking to my lawyer, like, oh, Mod lives here now. Like, we'd love to hear what he's working on. So they come over to my house. And the owner, Benji, um, comes over to my house. Shout out, Benji. Love you. Much love to you, new little baby that you just had. Come over to my house, and I, at that time I was living in a place called the Hippie Hideout, which every house of mine, I picture my houses, they have to look like, if you ever saw that show back in the day called I Dream of Jeannie, she'd go like this, and she'd go into her genie bottle, and it was like a genie bottle. So I, my houses, they always look like my genie bottle. It's like the inside of my life. Crazy, it's not a normal house ever. I'm talking, you walk in, it's like fuck, tin foil all over the roof and shit, crazy. He comes in, he's looking around like, oh my God, like, we're really living this shit. Um, and I bring him into my studio and I play him the album. And I had songs on my last album, like Free Love, which is a huge song. Uh, Howlin' at the Moon, huge song. These are like songs that could be on the radio for sure. He heard this song called My Favorite Shirt Is My Skin, which I said that earlier. But I have a song called My Favorite Shirt Is My Skin, which is a very touching song. And out of all the songs that I played, he was like, run that one back for me, please, will you please? And I ran it back. And right when he said that, I was like, okay, you get it. If you told me to run back the hit or whatever, I would have been like, mm, yeah, you're one of them. If you told me to run back the most serious, empowering one on the record, I was like, done deal. You want to do something, we can do it. And he was like, all right, let's do it. I want to drop this record for you. And we dropped it. And I have an amazing um, deal with them. Like, not on some, like, you're my label shit. It's like, we're partners. We we listen to each other, care about each other. No one gets mad at each other. It's like a real good friendship partnership. But like, I wasn't even, I didn't even know what I was gonna do, man. I didn't even know what I was gonna do for this new record. I didn't know if I was, like I said, I played guitar for a minute and fucking the spirit jumped out of me. I couldn't play anymore. <laughs> so I didn't even know what I was gonna do. And, ben, and uh, me and Benji met up right before I started the cycle for this second album. And he told me some of the realest shit I ever heard. Like, Benji's a real one, Rostrum's a real one. I love everything about them. And I love the people that work there. I think that labels should be looked at as a place of comfort instead of like how everyone looks at it, like some bullshit. Like I can walk into my label at any time, walk right up to the boss man's office, sit the fuck down, put my legs up on the desk and be like, what's the fuck is good, man? How you feel it? Like I can do that. My only hope for everyone though on that shit, cause I don't need, I don't need that. You know, I don't need a label. I can do anything on my own, like legitimately. I mean, a label can do more things for me, but I can do the things that I need. My only hope is that, uh, is that in this time of, of complete chaos in everything, including the world, including, you know, markets of every kind, you know, I, I, I only can hope that they choose to look at the art over the cents, you know, over the dollars and cents, because that's what it's about. Like, the second that you start sacrificing anything for, like, a market, you're fucked. You know, I try to keep it about the art, man. Like I, I could care less. I could have zero dollars in my pocket and, and make a masterpiece, you know? And that's how I feel. Like I don't I don't need any of the other stuff. So my only hope for any label out there, and especially my label too as well, is just like, you know, never sacrifice the, tr the, the true essence of what the beauty is. Cause the beauty is never gonna be a dollar sign. Ever, ever, motherfucker, never, so. Keep it real. Keep it fucking real. Don't do no sucker shit, man. Or you're gonna look like a sucker and like, 